welcome back to another vlog. It's Wednesday. Guess where I am? TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I have a list of some things that I need to pick up. The first thing is a pot for a fig tree that I have coming in the mail off of TikTok shop. I need some more candles. I need a new memory box because the current one that I have is overflowing. I need a file organizer for important documents that my husband and I have. I'm not sure if I can find that here at Home Goods or if I'm gonna have to go to Staples for that. We have so many mismatched bath towels and it just bugs me. So I just wanna get all white bath towels and throw the other ones away because it's just not the vibe. Plus they're old and we just need new ones at this point. I have my AC blasting right now because it's 82 degrees tomorrow, supposed to be 87 degrees. It's finally getting so freaking hot. And I don't know why I put my Uggs on today. <laughs> it's like too hot for Uggs. Let's go do some retail therapy. I think I'm gonna hit up Home Goods first. I usually always go to TJ Maxx first, but I wanna just try to get this pot out of the way because the fig tree should be here tomorrow or sometime soon, so. Just wanna grab that because I need to put it in the pot to be able to make an aesthetic video because it comes in like a little black one, but it'll just look nicer in a pot for when I make the video. So that's why I need it. I found some pots I like this one. I don't know if it's too big. Is this? Okay, only $50. I thought it was gonna be more than that. It's not too bad. This is what it looks like. I like how this person styled it with the woven basket, so maybe I'll look for something like that. I like this one too, it's only $20. These are all the white towels. And I have a dilemma because they're all priced similarly. I just don't know which one to get. We have Martha Stewart, $9.99. Calvin Klein, $9.99. Um, this Soho one for $7.99. I want to grab the ones that are 100% cotton though. They all feel similar. I'm going with the Calvin Klein ones. I like how this is planted. I just need some of this fake moss. I don't know if they sell it here. I'm going to get this lavender one. This tropical citrus smells really good too. So I think I'm going to end up getting this and then I found some of this stuff to fill it with. This is $14. I think it'll look nice. And then it kind of goes with the boho theme. I think I'm going to put it in our living room. I got four bath towels, two candles, this, and this. I'm probably about to spend over $100. I found this box, but I think it's a present box. And there's like two smaller ones inside of it. I don't know how much it is though. So depending on how much this is, I'll get it. Um, but it's funny because I think these are like present boxes. Um, but I feel like it could double as a storage box. I spent $97.51 at Home Goods, so I was right on the money. I went over to TJ Maxx and I didn't see anything. Those boxes would have just been an impulse purchase, so I just left. Um, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna head home now, make myself something to eat, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Um, I did get a mirror from TikTok shop in the mail today. My husband sent me a picture. I'm really excited about it. It's one of those squiggle or swivel mirrors. They were trending for a while, so let me show you. I also got a pineapple corer in the mail. I've never used one of those before, so I wanna see how good that is. And I'm craving some fresh, juicy pineapple right now. It's so freaking hot. I feel like I'm about to faint. Whew. It was hot in TJ Maxx too. They didn't have any AC. But this is the mirror that I got in the mail. I hope it looks as good in person. I'm a little worried about how big it is, but I think it's gonna be fine. This is the mirror. I'm about to unbox her. It's Thursday. I didn't end up going with my unboxing video that I filmed yesterday just because the mirror looked too plain by itself. So this is how I styled it. I brought in this lamp from my living room that I also got off TikTok shop and then I moved the plant to the left. Um, I moved my disco ball down so the sun could hit it and you can actually see it in the room because when I had it hanging there, it just wasn't getting hit by the sun anymore with the time change and everything. So I think I'm gonna have to like reposition it somewhere, but right now I just have it hanging from my curtain rod. Um, but it's doing the trick for now. The mirror is really nice. It has like a velvety feel. I just wish it was bigger. It's cute though. I got these bullet bangles off of TikTok shop a couple of days ago and I worked out with them for the second time today. These are the two pounders. 
I haven't put them on my legs yet. I used them on my arms and I got like a good 15 minute workout. My arms were sore. So I'm like trying to ease back into working out. Mirror's done. Now I need to get some content of these two new skirts I got from TikTok shop. They're like skirts for pickleball. They're so cute. I already tried one on and it fits perfect, super soft. And then I need to get some content in this gorgeous dress. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. This is from Princess Polly, but it's so nice. Um, I need to steam it though first. I wanted to like get some content next to a garden or something in it, but I'm like, you know what? I think I'll just wear it in my room and like do a little OOTD moment like right here. I think I'm gonna end up moving this mirror to my filming area. I just got this PR package in the mail from Swoon. I've never tried these before, but they look really good. They sent some edible glitter packets with it so you can make a cocktail. How freaking fun is that? It says one packet makes two glittery drinks and I think they sent two of each color or maybe three of each color. And they sent a little drink recipe right here with some tequila, it sounds really good. When I was checking out with my candles yesterday, the cashier was like, oh, how cute, it says best grandma. And I'm like, oh my God, I did not realize that it said this. I was gonna go swap it out, but I was like, you know what? I hardly ever use these anyways because I think it says not to put your candle out by putting the lid on, which I used to do. So I think I'm just gonna throw this away. My other lid for the other candle is just some flowers on it. So I thought that was pretty funny. Happy Saturday. I just finished doing my makeup and I haven't done a black wing in so long. I just feel like it looks so much better. I've just been using a dark brown shadow to create my wing recently because it looks more natural, but this... I miss it. This is the old angel. I used to do a black wing every single day. So I think I'm gonna start doing this more often. And I used the Rare Beauty liquid liner. It's so easy to use. I need to be somewhat productive today because yesterday was a wash. I just wasn't feeling it. So I had myself a whole lazy day. I was just a couch potato all day yesterday. Um, but I got some packages in the mail. So let me show you. One is really exciting. This is my second PR package from Cardi B. If you watched one of my previous vlogs, then you saw that she sent me her strawberry vodka infused whipped cream and my husband and I tried it and we did not like it so I'm scared to try this but the PR package is so freaking cute like I tried the bucket hat on I love it I think it's adorable um they sent over two little shot glasses with some alcohol so I guess her newer flavor is the lime but yeah I'm just hesitant to try it because the last one just tasted like chemicals I'm not gonna lie I did not like it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this maybe gift it to someone before I actually open it because we just ended up throwing away the last one I'm like if I give this to someone and they don't like it then that's a crappy gift so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that um I ordered these color wow products because, oh, was that the lid? I think I'm gonna blow out my hair on Monday and use these. This one is Raise the Root, which helps with volume. And then this one is called Extra Large. They're both for volume, which is great because I feel like every time I blow my hair out, it kinda goes pretty flat at the root. Um, so I'm excited to try these. I have a feeling I'm gonna love these and I plan to use them on my bangs even when I wear my hair curly. Um, and then this is the one that I have been the most excited about, Prada. Oh my God, I was like, what is this? So a couple of months ago, I did a collab with Prada. I couldn't remember if it was paid or unpaid. I think it was unpaid. But the main reason I did it was because I was like, I wanna get on their PR list. It was a Prada beauty collab for like one of their lip balms. And I've been seeing so many creators get sent their perfume, which I've never smelled before, but it looks like it smells really good. And I need another perfume. I'm actually about to go to the store to buy myself one because I ran out of the one that I loved. And I've just been using perfumes that I've been sent by other brands that I don't exactly love. So I finally was like, why am I wearing these? I don't love them. I threw them away. So they finally sent me a perfume. I know I'm a certified yapper. Let's unbox it and do a honest review. Oh my gosh, I've never smelled this. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna have to wear it though because I always say something smells really good and then usually like a little while later I'm like I don't like it as much as I thought I did so I'm gonna have to do like a wear test with this. Initially it does smell really good though. Sometimes perfumes can start to smell old lady-ish. I'm a little scared that that's what's gonna happen with this. 
I like a mature scent, but not that mature, you know? I love a sweet musky scent. This is sweet, but it has kind of like, like grandma undertones, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-oh, it's like sweet grandma. Okay, let's see. Sweet granny, but rich sweet granny. I ended up moving the mirror into our living room. I feel like it goes with our Tulum vibe. And then my olive tree came in the mail. I just need to finish putting it together. Well, I need to make a video potting it. I haven't completely finished it, but I think it looks great in this pot that I picked out from Home Goods. I just need to put this on top. I'm about to make a video doing that right now. That's why I haven't done it yet, but I think it looks so good. My husband and I saw one of these at Costco for like $150 or so, but I'm like, this one is just as nice and like half the price. I think I sprayed too much perfume on me. Oh, I'm getting sick. I just started reading this book over the last couple of days and so far I love it. She thick thick. A creator I follow was asking for book recommendations and this was her most recommended one. So I snatched it up. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's actually moist. I'm like, is it real? It also kind of smells like hay. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm not sure if it's real or not. I didn't say on the bag, but I think it looks really good. I only used like a quarter of it. I just finished filming that video. It was super easy. Now I just need to edit it. My husband and I are about to go get some Cajun seafood. We haven't had it in like over a year. The last time we went was because we saw a TikTok about it and we've been craving it. So I'm really excited. I'm starving right now. I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.